Hey, what's going on, nation? I got a different kind of video for you guys today, but before we get started, be sure to smash that like button and turn on video notifications so you never miss a new video upload. Now, one of the benefits of having a YouTube channel with over a million subscribers is if I want to try something new, I can more times than not get it sent to me to try out. <laughs> and I was surfing online the other day, well not the other day, this is like a month and a half, almost two months ago, because I do a lot of sitting. You guys might not realize this, but I mean, I am sitting down like four to five hours a day, editing, researching, answering comments, and I, I get up and I just kind of feel like a fat couch potato, because I'm just kind of like this the whole time while I'm typing in. It's just something that can't be avoided. I mean, if you're sitting down all day focused on your computer, you just tend to kind of slouch, which is why a lot of you guys who have desk jobs are like this, typing all day and you got shoulders and back problems. Me being a fitness nut, I'm like, you know what? I want to stop this and I want to try to find a way to get some activation in my core while I'm typing on the computer. And I'm sure many of you guys have seen like people sitting um, on exercise balls, but for me, I mean, sitting on an exercise ball, it's it's really not that difficult, you know, and I don't mean to say that to sound, you know, kind of like a jerk. For those of you who might have a hard time sitting on an exercise ball, it's just when I sit on one, yeah, it's forcing me to kind of sit upright like that, but it's not really giving me any kind of like core engagement or, or any, adding any kind of fun to me sitting down. And so I was just curious to see if I could find something that would add those two elements, and I ended up finding this. This is the Balanced Active Sitting Chair by SitType. And so it looks pretty cool, right? It's, it's very small, it's adjustable, and it actually has this pad underneath that you can um, inflate to be really, really hot and stiff, or I have it kind of set right now, it's like half full of air, so it's not that intense, but obviously the more full of air this is, the harder it is to sit on here and balance. And so I ended up contacting the company and I was like, hey, you know, I found your website. This chair looks really cool. I've been trying to find something like this. How can I get one? And so right now they're actually in the prototype stage and they had like six prototypes. And so they said that they would send me one to test it out and give a review on if I liked it. Well, here's that review. And I actually like it a lot. And for those of you who are wondering why I'm doing a shirtless video talking about sitting on a chair, it's because I want to show you the core activation, not because I want to show you guys my awesome abs or anything like that. So check this out. When you sit on this chair, and like I said, mine's only about half inflated right now, you have two different options that you can do. You can sit on it like this with your feet in front of you, which obviously, if I'm sitting in a regular chair, I kind of go like that. But when I'm on this thing, it forces me to sit up straight like that, and then obviously mentally I tell myself to flex my core, and then I can do my work like this. And then if I want to intensify my sitting, which is probably a term that you would never think that you would hear like ever in a video. It's never a term I thought that I would say in one of my own videos. But if you want to intensify your sitting, you can actually take your feet and you can put them on this and do what's called balanced active sitting. So while you're sitting down and you're typing, you're actually balancing yourself by placing your feet on this platform. And if you lose your balance, it only tips like 15 degrees, so you can't like fall off and hurt yourself. And this balanced active sitting requires a lot more core engagement. So you get to flex your abs a bit harder, flex your entire core a bit harder. And it's also been shown to like, your heart rate will increase because you have to really concentrate and flex muscles. And then on top of that, it's also been shown that because you're doing the balanced active sitting, whether your feet are on the ground or up here, it causes like your, your brain activity to increase as well. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm sitting in my regular office chair and I'm just sitting there and, I, and I'm typing along, like I just kind of go brain dead after a while. And it's just because my body's being stagnant. It's not doing anything. I forget the flex of my core. I'm slouched over. But since I've been using this, like it really has helped with my productivity. I feel better. Like I, I would go, because my office is downstairs from my bedroom. Like I would literally wake up in the morning, go down my stairs, and I would look into my office and I'd just be like, I don't want to go in the dungeon today. I don't want to sit in that chair. I hate my office. My office chair wasn't cheap. It was like 150 bucks. It was a really nice office chair. But I just look at it and I'm like, I hate that chair, I hate that desk, I hate this room, I don't get to do anything fun in this room. You know, as a fitness guy, I thought my entire life would be in the gym working with people 
And it's like, now I work with more people, millions of people over the world, but I spend a lot more time sitting. And I was just getting afraid that because of that, I wasn't able to, you know, really focus and activate my core throughout the day. And this thing has really helped me. And what's really cool, I know you guys are going to ask some questions about why, why invest in something like this versus um, the exercise ball. And what I, <laughs> I did some research on that too. And what I had come to find out is, especially in the workplace, obviously you guys, in your house, you can do whatever you want. Um, Obviously on here you have two options. You can place your feet on the ground and you can place them up here for active sitting for more core engagement. Um, on an exercise ball you only have one option with your feet on the ground, so that's one reason why the chair is better. But what I read online is a lot of workplaces have actually banned exercise balls as seats because people fall off of them and they get hurt. which I've never fallen off an exercise ball before, so I didn't even think of that. So some of you guys might not even be able to bring an exercise ball to work, but you can, you can bring this because it is much safer. And then, you know, me being me, there's some other fun things that I like to do with it too. So I'll do like the balance active sitting and then I'll take little breaks. I always have like a TV on in my office. So I'll take a little break from my computer and then I'll watch my TV on the wall. And then what I'll do is, um, I'll hold on to my desk, so pretend this is my desk, and I'll sit like this, and I'll just start swinging side to side and get some like balanced active sitting and oblique twists going on. <laughs> you know, just being a little creative, having fun. I mean, am I getting an intense oblique workout? No, but is it better than nothing? Yeah, so I just wanted to share this really cool chair with you guys. I really do enjoy it a lot. I love having it in my office. It makes my office seem less like a place where I go to die and type on a computer and more so like a place now where I can do my computer work and still feel like I'm getting a bit of a core workout throughout the day if I do the balanced active sitting. And like I said, this is a prototype. They will be coming out soon. So what I'm gonna do for you guys is put a link down in the info section below. So if you wanna check it out and get one for yourself and bring it home or bring it to your workplace, you'll be one of the first people to actually get one. So. I really like it. They were actually featured on Men's Health recently too, so you guys can check out that article as well. But I'll post the link down in the info section below directly to the site so you guys can start doing some balanced active sitting as well. And if you do get one and you find more fun ways to sit on this thing, aside from the balance active and the obliques, make sure you let me know because I should, anything I can do to make my office more fun, the better. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.